She wasn't expected to survive, but today an eight-year-old girl is thriving, even though her mother died in the same stabbing attack inside their home. Ten News reporter Jennifer Jensen is in San Marcos at a benefit for this little girl and why the attack became personal for a first responder who helped save her life. Azalea Duran is all giggles and smiles today, <laughs> all because of the generosity of 200 strangers. A golf tournament at Twin Oaks Golf Course for the girl whose scars near her chin and chest are still healing. <laughs> Why? Because it's nice that they came here for me. She can't seem to let go of San Marcos firefighter paramedic Jaime Serrato, one of the first responders the night of her attack. That's the true testament right there. She's just a special little girl. Clearly to her, he is a hero. Serato opened up with 10 News saying that seeing her just after the attack became personal. Having a, a son that's close in age to Azalea, um, yeah, definitely made it hit close to home for us. It was back in December when Azalea's brother found his mother and little sister in a pool of blood in their San Marcos home. Prosecutors say an acquaintance, 28-year-old Daniel Hernandez, stabbed Azalea's mother Antonia and Azalea more than two dozen times. Antonia died from her stab wounds. Eight-year-old Azalea was placed into a medically induced coma and woke up Christmas Day. She returned to school a month later. That was the most exciting day for all of us because she just went in and all the kids, I never seen so many kids tell her, I love you, this and that, and it shook us because they all ran up to her and just said, Azalea. Gomez says she is overwhelmed by the community support. Friends of the family who organized the event say today was not about golf, but about a little girl. <laughs> in San Marcos, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.